finally it's the first test day of the year and, and the uh, autocross course is all set up for a practice day, just practice, no, no timed runs. And then we're going out to the, the drag strip to finally test the LS Turbo 914 um, on the drag strip, see what it'll do. Well, that didn't go as planned, and you saw how easy I was taking it. I was in second gear the whole first run, or first lap, and then I finally get around the first corner, and yeah, I did floor it, and finally the boost kicked in, and that and a little rise and a little kink in the road, and that was all it took. So naturally, uh, the second run, I didn't take it easy. Well, my, my autocross test and tune didn't go as planned as, as you can see, and the it's smoking out the back tailpipes again, only under deceleration. Now, without the drone, I probably wouldn't even know that. People would say, yeah, it was smoking, but they wouldn't realize that it was coming off just under deceleration. So, i got some more work to do, and oh, hey, drag strip time. It's Dan Dallin.
curious as to why the times was so bad in the turbo run compared to the NA run. So I did an analysis. Let's look at it. half the turbo was just spinning tires or spinning clutches and just not doing it but the back half it was really moving Hey, stay to the end. We got a real cool look at a McLaren, a 60s Can-Am McLaren. And uh, it was built by a local guy here. So you got to check it out. So the, the autocross action wasn't all that exciting. And, and well, except for the spin, that was kind of fun. Um, but it was, but it told me some things that I need to work on and, and showed me some of the things that I need to fix for the quarter mile pass showed a lot of promise. <laughs> Again, things for me to work on, mostly me. That's as long as the tranny's not broke, and it looks like that. Yeah, I'll sh all the way to the end, I'll show you what it what it looks like is the problem. A special thanks to Dan too, who's also there filming for me, and I really appreciate that. And uh, to Rogue Adventure Drones for the aerial shots. That that was a bonus. I didn't know it was going to be there. And he does a really good job. Uh, so we're looking forward to working with him some more. So before we go, let's check out the 60s McLaren. That's just... <laughs> it's hand-built by the guy standing over there in the corner with the, the light uh, blue jeans. And... Uh, He's got the body for it at home. <laughs> Gee. Wow. A little left work. Wow. Huh? <laughs> yeah, nice. Oh, look, the end of transmission looks like yours. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 5248. 1,850 pounds with me sitting in it wet. Wow. With an iron big block. Wow. Every horsepower? About 600. Not, not a lot. Well, I mean, for a big block. Is what supports the transaxle. Cool. Did you have to fabricate a bunch of stuff for this? Yes. Did you have all the No, virtually a lot of stuff. So lots of stuff. Yep. Cool. Yep. Came without it, or it was just bent? It just, I didn't have the part. I had to fabricate it. You got, got a bag of, bag of parts. Not even that. I got a tub. Got a and I've been working with Bill Moyer. Bill Moyer was on the Chuck Parsons Can-Am team back in the day, and he lived in Shady Cove. Yeah. I know Bill. And, yeah, okay, well, he remembers 1970 like yesterday. Doesn't he have a bar in there in East Yes. Yeah. yeah. He just got taken out. Just a quick aftermath video. I don't know what that is, if that's a stub axle or hub or what it could be, but something... Less than a transmission. Okay, so that's enough. Hey, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.